beyond excited to be getting ready for this incredible journey that's coming up. I am leaving New York again and I'm leaving it at the at its peak of coming back to normal. It's been a delight to see people slowly getting back into a normal pace. Lots of people have been getting vaccinated. I got my second shot a month ago. It just feels like such a relief. Weird, but also very natural to be seeing new people and just to feel the buzzing of the city again. I think it's a tribute to this incredible place. Some people said New York was dead and it would never come back to what it was. And I call BS on that <laughs> and you'll see. Nonetheless, I'm leaving. I am turning a difficult visa situation on its head to say, okay, I'm gonna visit the hell out of this country. <laughs> if I can't leave, I'll just see all of it. And I will tell you about it in a minute, but I'll take you to a cool place to do that. All right. I'm just trying to find somewhere quiet because this city is noisy. National Park, which is a place that I've been dreaming of going to ever since I've heard it existed. Back to Denver, pick up a van that I'll be sleeping in and driving around with for eight days, I believe. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore Colorado, go to a few places over there, and then shoot through Colorado all the way to Salt Lake City. I actually went there with my parents. And my dad remembers it as the city where there was just no one. <laughs> it was that great. California. 
and after that it's kind of open. I'm not sure what will happen. I want to see some friends in California and then maybe hang out over there for a little bit and then come back to New York and enjoy the summer here. Just to be clear, I will not be on vacation the whole time. This is going to take about two months, but I won't be on vacation the whole time. I will be working most of the time. I'm taking two weeks off for the first two weeks of the trip, and then uh, starting in Montana, I'll be working. And I'm super excited. I actually forgot about the fact that uh, as I'm sharing this, I'll be shifting my schedule again. Um, there are only two hours of difference time difference. I think, I think that's right. I have to check. Crap, I figured it out. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be waking up earlier too much than New York time zone. And I'm really excited about that. It's going to be like Hawaii, but a little less intense. Because there were five hours differences in, in Hawaii. And, and then on, on the west coast, it's going to be three. And I'm uh, super pumped. Because I really, really have enjoyed so much the times this year where I was a little shifted. Because it really just pushed the day upwards. Uh, or backwards when I was in Europe, leaving so much time to do other things. I'm going to do my best to continue writing, uh, to make progress on my book, which I really want to make a video about. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned if you're curious about what it's going to be about, why did I decide to do a book and how it's been going. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It was quite a process to get to a place where it's a lot of fun, but now it is. satisfied with with this whole thing is really um, just the idea of flipping a shitty situation into something really good I'm not I don't think you can do that always but I was pretty pretty bummed out with my visa situation it's gonna be fine it'll, it'll all work out uh, we have a path forward which is really cool but I was just really annoyed that I would just stay stuck in the US. I just really, really resist that feeling of not being allowed to leave. And I had a few plans to travel abroad, so that kind of sucked. But yeah, I'm just super happy that um, I get to explore more here and turn it into a good situation. So. Yeah, excited to share all of this with you all and uh, explore this country and see what I would recommend to you. Let's go!